Hello viewers, welcome to Knowledge Point. Today we are going to discuss about a, a cash flow problem through a country risk analysis. Let's move to country risk analysis. Why country risk analysis is important? What are the risk factors? Let's move to the importance of a country risk analysis. Country risk signifies a potential adverse impact of a country environment on a cash flow generated by a FDI project. Country risk represents the potential diverse impact of a country's environment on the multinational company's cash flows. Country risk analysis is important for a number of reasons. First, the MNC can use it as a screening device to avoid investment in countries with excessive risk. It can be used to monitor countries where the MNC is currently engaged in international business. The study of a country risk is important. For MNC, is the need of assess particular forms of risk for a proposed project and consider for a foreign country. These forms of risk may be general such as economic risk and political risk, or they may be more specific such as the risk of a takeover by the host government. It is also used to improve the analysis used to in making long-term investment or financing decision. It is also used as a screening device to avoid conducting business in country with a excessive risk. Different risk factors. First of all, we will discuss about our political risk factors. Attitude of a consumer in the host country, action of host government, blockage of fund transfer, currency incompatibility, war, bureaucracy, corruption. Financing risk factor includes current and potential state of country economies, indicators of economic growth. How can marrying country risk provide different techniques to assess the risk? Marrying country risk. Macro assessment of a country risk is an overall risk assessment of a country without considering of the multinational company's business. A micro assessment of a country risk is a risk assessment of a country as a related to multinational company types of business. Different techniques to measure country risk. First of all, we will discuss about checklist approach. Secondly, we will discuss about Delphi technique, thirdly, quantitative analysis, and fourth, inspection of visits, and last, combination of different techniques. Let's discuss about checklist approach. A checklist approach involves rating and weightage all the identified factors and then consolidating the rates, weights to produce an overall assessment. Delphi technique. The Delphi technique involves collective worst independence opinions and then average and measuring the dispersion of those opinions. Quantitative analysis, quantitative analysis techniques like regression analysis can be applied to historical data to measure the sensitivity of business to various risk factors. It is a very important analysis. A quantitative analysis can be helpful for many business regarding their risk factors. Inspection visits. Inspection visit involves traveling to a country and meeting with a government official, firms, executive, and other consumer to explain doubts. Inspection visit is also very important before starting or measuring the risk of any country. I hope you like my video and you get a lot of knowledge from it. Thank you. Take care.